Okay, I'm going to do a really quick video here on how to make a gasket for a carburetor. Uh, this technique works for making gaskets for about anything. I use it for hydraulic pumps and all kinds of stuff. And the uh, only tool I'm going to be using is a small ball pin hammer. So uh, let's go ahead and get started here and uh, get a gasket made. Okay, I'm working here in the back of an incomplete pickup bed, so uh, bear with me here on what little space I have to work with. So I'm going to uh, set the uh, top of the carburetor off to the side. I don't need it here right now. And uh, I'm just going to be working with the uh, bottom half here. And I'm going to want to uh, go ahead and cut me off a piece of gasket. But uh, I'm going to just line it up here and uh, see what size I need because I hate to waste any gasket material. So we're going to just kind of want to hold up the up there to a couple sides, lightly push on it, and get this uh, needle jet pushed through. Want to be careful not to bend or break any vein. Okay, you can use a pair of scissors. I got my scissors here, my multi tool, and just get an idea here on what size you're going to be needing and then just uh, get it cut out. Always leave it a little bit extra and uh, make sure you don't short yourself any because you don't want to come up short on your casket. Okay, let me go forward just a little bit further and then it comes clear out to right there is where the front of it is. Okay, now that you got your gasket cut out, you're going to lay it here over top of the carburetor. You got your little pin right there to line it all up. Okay, you're going to want to take your little ball pin hammer. It's really nothing fancy. I even have the head taped on. You're not going to want to hit and hold or anything. And uh, you can kind of just get an idea on where the sides of the carburetor are at. You can kind of bend down the edges, make a little bit of an outline. Just get an idea. And then you can just make sure it's all squared up and then just uh, come through and lightly tap. And just tap right along the edge of the cord burden. Make sure you do not hit and hold. This is a cast iron cord burden. Be cautious if you have an a, uh, aluminum cord burden. And as you come through and tap on it, you kind of want to just hit and just kind of tap and just kind of brush down on the corners and see how it lightly cuts it. Then you just keep going. And just make your way all the way around it. And you just take off all of the excess gasket. Okay, now I got a gasket cut out. And now you just do the same thing. You just want to follow along the inside here. Lightly tap on it. And get the inside of it cut out. If 
You can uh, flip your hammer over, use the ball end of it to get around some tighter corners. Well, make sure you don't hammer too hard and pull the gasket down. You want to make sure it's just a nice smooth tap right on the edge so it cuts. Line it right back up, and again using the uh, ball and hammer, you should be able to take out your holes for the bolts. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and thread in a couple bolts here to hold my gasket in place. I'm just going to go ahead and continue along and take out the rest here. Make sure you go really slow around these 
thinner the areas. Make sure you don't tear the gasket. Okay, and this really small hole here. We got an indention marked out. I'm gonna just circle around here with a little pair of scissors and just get that cut out. And uh, that uh, should do uh, the trick here for the uh, gasket for the center. And it's the same basic principle for the uh, top gasket here that goes up on the intake manifold. We'll make that here right quick and we'll uh, go ahead and get the carburetor put together. Okay, that's going to do it. I got both gaskets here cut out, and I'm going to stick it back together and uh, see how it runs. Okay, that's it. It doesn't take much to make a gasket for a carburetor. Uh, make sure you like the video if you like it, and uh, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching.